Hey guys, my name is Thomas Risley and in this video I'm going to be showing you three quick and easy ways to removing unwanted people from your photos using Adobe Photoshop. So I'm sure you guys have experienced this before where you go to a really really epic location but there's just so many people around and all you want to do is just get a photo with just one person in it. The only way to get a clean shot with just one person is usually if you wake up super early at sunrise when everyone's asleep or you get super lucky and it clears up for like two seconds or you can just remove the people in the edit using Adobe Photoshop. The next three techniques are techniques that I use almost every day so I hope you guys find this useful. Method number one, content aware fill and the spot healing brush. This is probably the easiest way to removing unwanted people and specs in your photos because Photoshop automatically gets rid of it for you. But there are a few limitations to this method. So let's jump into Photoshop and I'll show you this first method. Before we begin, I've put the original image for this in a link in the description. So hit that link and download the image to follow along. To start off with, we want to duplicate the base layer just in case you want to go back to the original image. It's always good to duplicate layers as you go to track your progress and go back to a previous step if you make a mistake. To do this, right click on the background layer and hit duplicate layer. The content aware fill and spot healing brush tools are really good for when you want to remove small people with a predictable background. This couple sitting on the right side of the image is a good example of this. Use the marquee tool to drag a box around them, then right click and click fill. Make sure the contents field says content aware and hit OK. And they're gone. It's not perfect, but we can tidy that up using method two in a sec. Now let's try another example with this man in the middle. As you can see, it didn't work perfectly, but you can always keep doing this technique until it is clean-ish. We will tidy this up properly later using method two. This content aware fill technique is perfect for getting rid of small signs like these. You can also use the spot healing brush tool to get rid of small blemishes too. Hit the spot healing brush tool on the left, adjust the size and hardness by right clicking the image and just brush away the blemishes. Let's speed this up and tidy the rest. As I said before, this method has its limitations, so it could get messy when you try to get rid of a person in a more complicated spot. Take this kid riding the bike below the hoop as an example. Because it is harder for Photoshop to predict, this method doesn't work so well. So let's undo this and move on to the next method, which we will be able to remove him cleanly. Method number two is the clone stamp tool. This tool will give you a little bit more control over what you can get rid of. The clone stamp tool works by cloning a part of the image onto a different place in the photo. To begin this method, hit the clone stamp tool on the left toolbar and then right click the image to adjust your brush size and hardness. Then hold Alt to pick which area you want to clone, then release Alt and start painting the area where you want that clone to be placed. Here we've just tied it up where that couple was sitting before. You can also limit the area you are cloning by using the polygonal lasso tool. Draw a shape around where you want to clone, then again hold Alt and pick the area you want to clone then release Alt and start painting in the new area. Use your knowledge of patterns and the surrounding areas in the image to figure out what to clone and where to clone it. Keep repeating this step for the areas you think are clonable. When you paint inside a polygonal lasso selection, sometimes it creates a sharp edge on the boundaries. To smoothen this out, you can use the blur tool with hardness zero. Find the blur tool on the left toolbar and then start brushing the sharp areas to smoothen the edges. I'll be going over how to work on the really difficult areas like the benches for method three. And finally, method number three is to use parts of other photos from the same location, but with no people in those parts. This method requires a little bit of planning when you're out there shooting. All you want to do is to shoot from the same location. You don't necessarily need a tripod, but it could be better with a tripod, but make sure every frame you take there's no person in each part of the photo. This method probably gives you the most control in getting rid of unwanted people in your photos. So let's jump into Photoshop and I'll show you guys how to do this. So here I've got another photo from the same location. You can also find this file in the same link in the description. We're gonna focus on the benches now and this image has an empty bench, which we can use in our edit. Select the bench and its shadow using the marquee tool and then copy, control or command C and paste it into the other file, control or command V. Hold Ctrl or Command to move the bench into place and change the opacity of the layer to 50% to place it into the right spot. Right click on the bench and hit Free Transform to scale, distort and position into place. Next apply a layer mask onto this layer and use the paintbrush tool with hardness zero to paint black along the edges. This will erase the sharp edges and create a seamless transition. Because you're using a layer mask, if you make a mistake, you can fix the mistake by painting white instead of black. 
Next, we're gonna adjust the brightness of the bench by using the brightness slash contrast tool to match the colors with the original image. Once you've completed this first bench, duplicate this layer by right clicking the layer and hitting duplicate layer. Repeat the same steps for the bench to the left of it. Again, paint black onto the layer mask and use a small paintbrush to tidy up the edges of the bench. Use the knowledge that you've learnt from methods 1 and 2 to tidy up this bench. Next we're going to press Ctrl or Command Alt Shift E all at once to compile everything we've done into a layer of its own. Then select the first bench using the marquee tool, right click and hit layer via copy. Once copied, right click the new layer and use the free transform tool to flip this bench horizontally and to place it on the other side. Again, use a layer mask to tidy up the edges of the bench. You can get rid of the shadows below these benches since they're going in the wrong direction. Merge all the layers again into its own layer by hitting Ctrl Command Alt Shift E all at once. And now we will work on the shadows of these benches on the right. First, apply the clone stamp technique that you learned in method 2 to tidy up the surrounding area. Then copy just the bottom of the bench from the left side onto a new layer. Position it into place on the right side. Again, we're going to use a layer mask to tidy the edges. Finally, we're going to repeat this step for the last bench and also erase the bench stands too to get the right lighting. And now we're done. A clean shot with just one person in it, edited using three easy techniques on Adobe Photoshop. Now let's take a look at the before and the after. So I hope you found those three techniques useful and you can apply them next time you're editing your photos. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. If you have any questions, make sure you drop a comment. And if you want to see more tutorials in the future, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. How cool is this Photoshop shirt, by the way? I got it at Adobe Max last year. It's got the... Photoshop toolbars on there.